lovely day and things were getting a lot easier for Cathy. She was happily given an interview for working as a part-time assistant and was very happy for Ava May to look after her children. Meanwhile, Blake was in his bedroom feeling a little sad and Justin wanted to play. But Blake wasn't interested. He wanted to stay in silence. Come on, Blake, let's play, cried Justin. Go away, Justin, I don't want to play, said Blake. But Justin wouldn't leave. He still wanted to play. Go play with the girls, said Blake. No, they're playing with their dolls, said Justin. Blake sighed and looked away. Just then, Justin found a ball. I said go away, shouted Blake. But I wanted to play with you, cried Justin. Just then, the girls overheard the shouting. Hey, stop fighting, cried Lucy. But the boys didn't listen. Stephanie quickly ran to get Kathy, but she bumped into Ava May. Ava May, where's Mummy? she asked. She already left for her interview, said Ava May. Stephanie quickly explained that Blake and Justin are fighting. When Ava May came by, she couldn't believe what she was seeing. Hey, break it up, she said. Everyone couldn't believe what Ava May just did. Now... What is going on here? Ava May asked, concerned. Blake and Justin spoke at once, and Ava May had to raise her voice. I hate this family, yelled Blake, and he walked off. Justin then thought he must miss his real parents, and doesn't like being with a family. But Blake should be happy with all of you, and your mother too, said Ava May. The children began to think about their real mummies and daddies, and that made them feel very sad. Hey, don't be like that. You're very lucky to live in a home with a mother who loves you and takes care of you, said Ava May. The children agreed a little, but they still felt empty inside. Ava May knew a lot about families and how they are all wonderful to be with. I know. Let's go and get Blake and go on a magical adventure to see different families around us, said Ava. The idea lifted the children's spirit up, so it was time to get into a circle. So they got into a circle and the children couldn't wait. Where are we going to go first? Lucy asked excitedly. Some place where they have happy families, said Ava May. So after they counted to three, Ava May raised her arm. And soon, they arrived, seeing a mother and a father with four children. Wow, the children said. They saw the four children smiling and laughing, and there was no fighting. They're all playing together, said Daisy. Yes, because they're very close and care about each other, said Ava May. Soon, it was lunchtime, and the children sat together and took a play at the time and sharing food together. They all look happy together, said Blake. That's because they're using their manners to show kindness, said Ava May. The happy family began to talk about good things and the father made them laugh. That made Daisy and Stephanie laugh a little, but it made the others sad because the happy children had a father, but they didn't. So Ava May decided to take them somewhere else. This time, Ava May and the children saw another family with one mother and one child. Where are the other children? asked Justin. Ava May explained that there are only one child and one mother and also explained that lots of families are big and small. Where's the father? asked Stephanie. He doesn't live with them anymore, said Ava May. The children were surprised as a little girl and her mother didn't seem to care as they were feeling very happy. I still wish our foster dad came back, Blake said sadly. That gave Ava May another idea. 
This time, Ava May and the children went to another home and saw two children living with their auntie and uncle. The parents here too? asked Daisy. Ava May shook her head and explained that these children lost their parents a very long time ago. So they lived with their auntie and uncle because they loved them very much. That made the children smile and just then Lucy remembered she once lived with her grandparents when she was two years old. But they became unwell and couldn't take care of her anymore. It's okay to feel sad because living with your grandparents can be very interesting, said Ava May. Just then, Daisy and Stephanie realised that they are lucky because they're sisters and are happy to be together. Ava May agreed and explained that they are very lucky as many brothers and sisters get separated from each other because they either don't get along or can't afford a family for them to stay together. Do many of these brothers and sisters still see each other? asked Lucy. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't see each other for many days, weeks or years, said Ava. The children couldn't believe it and couldn't understand why these things happen. But Ava May explained that everyone is different, but good families still treat children like their own. Like what? asked Daisy. Well, your mother always tucks you in bed, cooks your favourite meals and gives you hugs every day, said Ava May. The children agreed. Mummy always tells us a bedtime story, said Daisy. And sings our favourite song, said Stephanie. Everybody smiled and thought that was very sweet. Then Ava May asked what other things they would do with their mother. Sometimes we play games together, said Justin. And we go shopping, said Lucy. Ava May thought that was great and Blake also remembered that they visit their foster grandparents. They love visiting them because they get presents and go for picnics in the sun. I like it when Mummy takes us for a ride in the car, said Justin. That gave Ava May another idea. So they went outside and Ava May worked her magic. Like to go for a ride in the car, she asked. The children couldn't believe their eyes with the magic. So they got into the car and Ava May started driving. Where are we going? asked Blake. Just for a quick drive, said Ava May. The children were having a great time. They saw trees and grass and houses. Where are the people? Stephanie asked. Ava May smiled and waved her arm again. Everybody began waving and saying hello. Blake felt very happy and lucky to be with a family who cares so much, but they wanted to learn more about families. Most children play a game of mummies and daddies and brothers and sisters, said Ava May. I played that game when I was little, said Lucy. The others were very inspired, so Ava May stopped the car and went to the park to play. How do we play that game, Lucy? asked Daisy. Lucy explained that to play the game, Blake can be the father, Justin can be the brother, Daisy can be the sister and Stephanie can be the baby. Father will need to work, I can feed the baby and brother and sister can go and play, said Lucy. They all agreed and started to play. Lucy pretended to feed baby Stephanie, Blake pretended to go to work, so they waved goodbye to him. Ava May sat and watched the children play and felt very happy that they were playing nicely and not fighting. I'm sure your mother would love to see you playing like that, she said. It's sad that we only have a foster mother with a grandma and grandpa, said Daisy. Ava May smiled and explained that those people are perfect in their family, whether they're big or small. I wish we can adopt a pet, said Daisy. The others agreed and hoped that one day they will have a pet in the family. Blake felt a lot better and realised that he wasn't alone, but there was still one more problem that still bothered him a little. I just don't understand why our foster parents argued so much that our dad had to leave, he said. 
Ava may sighed a little of sadness and got the children to sit down. Sometimes when grown-ups are angry at each other, they get along better when they separate, said Ava May. The children listened and Ava May explained that when they separate, they don't fight and become better people. And as your foster father left, it doesn't mean it's your fault, so don't blame yourself, said Ava May. Secretly, Blake had a little tear in his eye as he believed that this was all his fault. But Ava May explained that just because they don't love each other anymore, it doesn't mean that they don't love them. And we saw lots of different families with one mummy and aunties and uncles, said Justin. That's right, and you guys live with foster parents and are all brothers and sisters, said Ava May. The children looked at each other and smiled. Now that they know all about families and how they come in different shapes and sizes, it was time for Ava May and the children to return home. So they got into a circle and Ava May raised her arm. I'm home from my interview, said Kathy as she walked in. The children gasped and remembered that Kathy went for a job interview. How did the interview go? Lucy asked excitedly. Kathy sighed and didn't look too pleased, which made the children very worried. Tonight, we need to go somewhere very important, she said. The children didn't understand why they had to go somewhere important. Why do we have to go somewhere? asked Daisy. Because I got the job, so we have to go out and celebrate, Kathy cried happily. The children cheered and jumped for joy, and Kathy joined in the fun. Ava May smiled and felt very happy for Kathy. I'm going to be very busy working, so I need you to listen to Ava May more and be very good, said Kathy. Children didn't mind at all. They loved Ava May and hoped if she can come and celebrate too. I was hoping you'd say yes, but maybe I spoke a little too soon, said Kathy. The children aimed their eyes on Ava May, but she wasn't so sure whether she should or not. Do come, Ava May. You're part of the family now, said Blake. Ava May smiled. It was one of the most nicest things that Blake has ever said, and she said yes too. Kathy was very thankful to Ava May, and she wanted to know how they were. Ava May explained about Blake feeling sad about Kathy's husband, but after a little play and make-believe, he felt a lot better and happy to be with the family. Kathy smiled and thought that was very kind of her. He was really close with my husband and when he left it became really difficult, said Kathy. As Blake and Justin went back in their bedroom, Blake felt a little guilty for fighting with Justin. Then he had an idea. Hey Justin, after the celebration we can play together if you'd like, he said. Justin gasped with delight. But I thought you didn't want to play, said Justin. You're my brother, and brothers always play together, said Blake. Justin smiled and felt very happy to play with his big brother. And I'm really sorry for being mad at you and started a fight. I just miss Dad too much, said Blake. It's okay, I miss him too, but it doesn't matter because we have each other, said Justin. Blake smiled and they shook hands to make up and got ready to celebrate Kathy's new job.